Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to document Power BI report tables, column names and data types into Excel very easily. So this is required for documentation purposes. So when you work in an organization, up to the end of the project, when your Power BI report is complete, then comes the documentation phase where you document all your table names, column names, measures that you have used in your report. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily document that. And normally how people approach is people write it manually. People write the table names, column names and other details manually. So in this video, I'm going to make your life very easy. I'm going to show you how you can directly copy the table names, column names, data type and other details directly from your Power BI report and use it in your Excel sheet. So let's start the video. So I have opened a report where I have these many tables. Now we can go to this DAX query view. You will get this kind of interface. Now what we can do is I will just delete this and say evaluate. And I will write info dot view dot columns. And if I run this, let's see what it returns. As you can see, it is returning me the ID name. So this name is basically the column names, table names, data type, data category, description is hidden, is unique. So it's giving me the details of the columns that are present in this Power BI report along with other details. So here we don't want uh, all the columns. So what we can do is I will wrap this inside select columns. Select columns requires a table. So this info.view.columns will act as a table. And then next we can select the columns which you want. So I'm going to say I'm going to give the name as table name. And I'm going to pick this table column. Next I'm going to pick column name and I'm going to pick the name column which is nothing but the column names next I am going to get the data type so I'll say data type I'm going to pick data type we can also get other details as per your report so what however you want to document so we can uh, pick the columns which is needed in your documentation so we can also take this uh, is unique column which is showing if the column is unique or not we can say is unique and we can pick this column is unique. If I close this and run this, we will get these four columns that we have mentioned here in the select columns. So if you see this, uh, we have these table names where we have all the table names that you can see on the right hand side of this model. And we have all the column names mentioned here. And this is the data type and is unique column. If you notice here, we are also getting one hidden row number which is generated automatically by Power BI. So to eliminate this, what we can do is we can filter this table and say is hidden is equals to false so it should not be hidden now if I run this see now we are not getting that row number so this is what we need here we have the table name column name data type and is unique column we can directly copy it from here we have an option for this and copy the entire table and we can open the excel sheet and we can directly paste it here Control shift l to filter and you can see we have documented it so fast within a minute and this is how we can save a lot of our time and energy similarly if you have a measure list in your report you can get those lists as well so if i go back to the dax query view and let's open another query and here if i say evaluate info dot view dot measures and run this see it's empty because we don't have any measures here what i will do is i'm going to create a measure and from the order detail let's click right click and click on new measure here i will write order quantity qty and take sum of order qty so this is our measure now if we go to the dax query view and uh, run this again you'll see we have one measure here so it's showing me a name column which is the nothing but the measure name table under which table it is residing then we have the data type of this measure then we have the expression it also gives the expression so many times we also require to document the expressions that we have used in the measure and we open each measure and copy that and do it manually uh, i have done it myself now we can do these things very easily we can choose the columns that we need in our report so to choose it again we can do the same thing which we have done in this query one we can use the select columns and mention the column names and we can extract those column names and copy it and export it to Excel sheet. So this is how we can do the documentation very easily. I hope you liked my video and have learned something new from this video. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.